So now as uh, we have covered that companies do need software engineers or junior engineers, right? Uh, despite AI taking over uh, jobs. So Chetan, how can our listeners or new computer science graduates or software engineers who are navigating layoffs or software engineers who are aiming to join top tech companies stay relevant and stand out in this challenging market? Uh, okay, so like right now, like you must have seen, like uh, we can have like end-to-end -end working products or prototypes, uh, like so, uh, like uh, we can write that code in any language. Okay, like we don't need to worry about the syntax or we don't need to worry about like a lot of details. So right now, I feel that the the ability of the uh, ability of the students or the engineers to solve the problems is going to be very crucial right now. So earlier there used to be like quite a lot of noise around that. Hey, like uh, GPT can solve like a lot of uh, data set algorithm problems. Okay, why do we need a DSA anymore? Okay, but if you look at right, like even the GPT, Chat GPT, like it is basically a these are like generative models which are like very good at understanding what you are asking, like um, getting the relevant context around it and like writing code around it. Like so basically, right? I feel like right now, like the this problem solving ability is going to be really really crucial okay because already right like if you look at the like right now the 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 there are a lot of tools like uh you know, like copilot a lot of they can write the like junior engineer level code right now okay so how do you identify how do you how do you uh judge the uh, judge the candidate or like uh any uh, any incoming student or uh, how to how do you judge the any new uh the person you're interviewing so I feel right right now, right? Like even though like you can see that like a lot of GPT can solve like a lot of data structure algorithms question, but still like uh, the can uh, the candidate need to be judged very uh, fo uh, primarily focused on the problem solving ability itself. So that is going to be very very crucial. So like again like uh, so I will still like uh, feel is that like mastering the data structure and algorithms is going to be really really important. Uh, and like the the how the interviews we are. We have used to get conducted earlier, and how those will be uh, used to be uh, how those will be like conducted in future. That might change, but the but the judging the uh, prop candidates problem solving ability that is going to be very very crucial going ahead. Uh, so that's what like so master like so mastering DSA is going to be again stick with us, and like we definitely need to work on that. So I, I will just again suggest the candidates or like who are preparing for the software interview to strongly focus on the problem solving abilities. Okay. So one part of it is like solving the data set problems. There might be other parts of it and which might evolve uh, going ahead in the future, uh, like looking at the current uh, scenario of like a uh, lot of problems can be solved by the like uh, these tools. But yeah, like again, this is going to be very crucial. Now coming back to the uh, the second point of like uh, like importance of system design. If you look at right now, right, like the, the tools available in the market, they are really, really good on writing small features or like building like simple apps, but the ability, but it fails when it needs to understand like, or like on building like uh, complex projects where like there is a like very strong need of system design because we can't give complete con complete context to the like current available tools about like, hey, like how to optimize for the latency, how to optimize particular feature, how should we use, let's say like, how should we like go for the use caching or the different strategies on the caching. The learning of system design and like understanding the internal working of a lot of things is going to be very, very crucial because even though like we can like the current tools can like a lot of boilerplate flow uh, code and a lot of like invent POCs, but building large system systems, which can be used by millions of users still and uh, like bringing a lot of different components into one place and uh, uh, joining it together to build a complete end to end system. That still like uh, is needs uh, that still needs the uh, like a really really good software engineers who have like very strong understanding of system design. Uh, yeah, so those are the two points that I think like uh, one like were very crucial and very important points. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, also, like one thing that is going to be like uh, is that what are the values or all the strengths that you can add apart from like current available tools? Okay. So like basically right like uh, the importance of the communication skills like how you articulate different requirements how you articulate like importance of different features how you can like define like hey if is this something really needed or not or is this like just uh, like not needed or users are not going to uh, like it 
so this understanding of like uh, this understanding and like having this strong communication skills to like communicate with these stakeholders or communicate with with the uh, tools is also really important so like like if you like look at the like prompt engineering uh, like that is again a like prompt uh, that is again a like going to be like really important and also like i feel like it is very very strongly correlated with the strong communication skills the person who can communicate better can like communicate better like can communicate uh, better like who is going to like write a better prompts and understand requirements clearly and communicate the requirements with the other stakeholders or with the tools is going to be uh, uh, going to be really important uh, another thing that like so like how do we start, like lot of if you see right lot now the job of a four or five person can be done by a single person in a short period of time so how let's say like how like so obviously i feel like even though the, the more number of uh, like even though like the more number of people will be using software more number of companies going to get created so we feel like the need for the more number of engineers might increase as well but along with that like the question is that in the pool of lot of people how does one can stand uh, can one can be distinguished so for that i think having a strong resume having a very strong linkedin profile is going to be like key there so a lot of people what they do is that uh, like a lot of people build a lot of projects but they 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 fail to uh, publish the projects they fail to like complete the actual user usable projects they create like kind of a clones okay they don't add these kind of clones don't add real values to any actual users or can't be used by any actual users so if you are building any strong portfolio or like any projects understand is this a something that at least few people can use it is this solving real problem of any users and i will suggest the people to like stick with the those kind of projects which can actually use by the any uh, outside users so but also like it's not just about the building like publishing your projects okay make uh, publishing your project like like if you have if you are building some mobile app publish it on play store let the actual users use and like that shows like your complete ownership and end to end execution of what you are something building so that is go- really going to stand out uh, in going ahead yeah these are the like important points like and i think like the people should like go uh, go and work on these things like problem solving really important system design going to be way more important than what earlier it used to be and like bringing own strength uh, like the values that can't be like provided by like any tools right now okay and showing what you are building so that is going to be like uh, really important yeah right so basically to be visible right at this point of time Correct. you need to be visible out there yes in this market yes so yeah i know when you talked about um, companies are definitely looking for more skills right at this point of time someone it's just not like you're building systems or you're using you're working with millions of users but you should be able to also uh, be able to communicate better because that is definitely which is very important at the same time you should be able to write better prompts right collaborate better with the team as well as should have more skills about system design right and uh, be you know have ownership and uh, you know while building systems that is definitely critical at the same time you need to be visible right yes Correct. okay yeah and of course i always say you know if you are not getting interview calls i think there is where the resume is where there is something um, you know maybe you not added uh, uh it needs to be refined or maybe you don't have a good strong linkedin presence that is i always add those things yes thanks for sharing those details um chetan 